I like brought that. You're finally wearing the glitter jacket. Yeah, I did. I never did. wore it on the Since show it's before. Our first show tonight. This is our know, first show this. on Village Connection Network. I'm really excited. Way to go. Give me you five know? on that. We Let's it. do this. Yeah. yeah. Good evening. How are you guys? Heather Lee, how are you, sweetheart? We're shipping. We're shipping I'm doing Chester great. Boy. <laughs> I, I had to call in because I just wanted you guys to pay extra shipping to get my shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Actually, I'm going to give them to your father and he's going to ship them to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in that case, I'll never get it. Brought up a really good point, Darren. Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome to the Business Power Hour with Darren and the Music Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like somebody's in heat. That's good. <laughs> How are you, Music Man this I'm, week? I'm really interesting question. That's a fantastic I, question, Norman. Wow. See, I got fantastic. You just fantastic. got good. I got fantastic. What kind of toy did she like? <laughs> Tell me, kid. Come on, you. He always goes there. Were you drinking before the show? Ah, what are the cardinal rules? <laughs> Two things you never do to a woman. You never say they're old, and but you I'm never say mad. they're happy. I'm never going to say they're old. You never ask me how much I'm with it. Trust me. Oh, wait true. a second. We both you know, know I won't be seeing you. <laughs> you know Laura for a long time. Yes, I do. <laughs> By the way, this is a Yankee uh, station. It's a Yankee Thank station. You. John, Thank it's a Yankee station. All right. Fourth extravaganza. Hell no. Hi, Eileen. Eileen's on. Hi, Eileen. <laughs> so, Eileen Car I, Carina is on. Uh, yeah, oh, hi, awesome. Eileen. She Great question. We have a lot of undulations out in the, the field. Undulations. Is that a wine? So, <laughs> no, you, <laughs> what the hell is undulation? Fred, so, Fred, don't use big words. <laughs> John's not calling his chicken. You did you just call me a chicken? I called you a chicken. I did call you, you a chicken. You called me a chicken. I called you a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <you're> right? <laughs> so this <laughs> help. Okay. I, I gotta get him a cough button, Jim. What do you think? A cough because button would be a good idea. Be you consider that a good question that he asked? Great there question. You go. There you go. Pythons and brains. I got, I but our own John from Hazlitt provided the confetti for the ticket tape parade. Hey, 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 sorry. This, this, yeah, I was just going to say, this show's about him. It's no, not about you. Hey, give me something. <laughs> give me something. Give me some loving. Right. How are you, music man? Hello, Darren. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm, I'm absolutely week. convinced. I'm absolutely convinced. I'm telling you. you got some kind of brain damage when you had that thing last I'm, year. I'm telling <laughs> you. Really? And he called him. <laughs> Seeing interviews by Darren and the music man. Ladies and gentlemen, Darren Siafi and Norman Wasserman. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. I just got the finger from Jim, okay. and welcome to the Business Power Hour with got Dimples the and the Music Man. And good Dimps. evening, <laughs> Mr. Music Sup, Man. Dimps. How how are you? How was your week? How was my? I don't know. We just started. Today's we just started. Well, how was your week? Was from week? weekend from last week. You know what? We we weren't here Wednesday night. We had a, a, a rerun on. Yes. I hope everybody tuned in for that uh, to see our friend Chris from Ready Set Studios. Uh, but Do you know Chris? Yeah. We have good. Okay, so you know Chris from Ready Set. Okay, so good, good. This is going to be a good conversation. We'll have fun today. You know, we were here. I wasn't here last Monday, so it's been over a week that I've seen you. What have you been doing? I've been, you know, well, you knew last Monday I had a, a, a business yeah, thing huge, I had to go huge to. Huge business thing. Yeah, so that's, that's actually going well, well, very well. But, uh, yeah, I got to go pumpkin picking this weekend. What nice. did you do? Um, I went to my, um, one of my grandkids' house, and mm -hmm. it's my wife's birthday. And we went off for dinner. And oh, we happy went birthday, Renee. And, uh, well, thank you. And <laughs> um, it was all good. Oh, thank Very you. nice. So it was nice. Actually, Wednesday is really her birthday. This Wednesday? This coming Wednesday. Oh, okay. So, we whoa, celebrated whoa. with some of uh, our grandchildren. Yeah, but we got, we got a show Wednesday. Yeah, I know. So it's believe me, I'm hearing about it. So, so don't come. I'll, I'll come. Well, you covered for me. I can cover for you. It's your wife's birthday. Yeah, okay, good. You know what? Let's so listen. we have Let's... some great guests well, hold on, here tonight. Hold on. Before no, we, we do that, we later we on, have to go into we want to take a poll, right? Should Norm be here for his wife's birthday on Wednesday? You got to write in we and let us know. We have signed contracts. You have signed We have contracts. to adhere to. Listen, I know some people upstairs. I can, I can help you I out know the person upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, so there you go. I also know the people downstairs <laughs> that are sitting right here, that's sitting here with us, and they happen to be relatives. Okay, yeah. So you know, why don't you it's give like, an introduction? Like Jim's show, Yo Bro. 
Yo, bro. These which, are really oh, that yo, was, bros. That was a quick thing. Just yesterday, I was, I was sitting at home, and actually, right, Jim, we had this planned out for weeks. We had this planned out for a He couple sent me a text message at 10 o'clock yesterday morning going, hey, I need a business guest for my show. But whatever you do, don't bring Norman. At noon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, he. No, we. At noon, I was on his show, Yo Bro, and we had a lot of fun. So it was. It was. Uh, We're gonna we have a lot of fun two, now. We gotta get the two of us on there. One With Juan and Mauricio Vides. Welcome, guys. Welcome, guys. How are you tonight? Yeah. Nice. You've been in front of the cameras before, the two of you, yeah. many, many times. Yeah. yeah, yeah like that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So who's Mauricio and who's Juan? Yeah, I'm Mauricio. Uh, Mauricio. Yeah, yeah, we, we switch every now and then, right? <laughs> you, just, you just switch, you mix it up. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. So who's, uh, who's Mauricio? I'm Mauricio. All right, Mauricio. who's one? Right, that's one one. Yeah, 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 very good. <laughs> so, How are you guys? Good, good. How are you guys doing? So guys, tell us a little bit about Web Design U. You got two companies, right? right. Yeah, right. So my company is Web Design U. Mm -hmm. okay. is Tech ACS. Tech ACS. Okay, yeah. so why don't we start with you? Is Mauricio? it the same type of thing? Do you feed off each other? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. Or what is your company doing? So, so my company is Web Design U. Um, we focus mostly on uh, web design and social media management and some parts of reputation and no, my brother. Yeah, my dear, we're Tech ACS. We do web design and search engine optimization and um, online reputation management. So online. you do the SEO. Yes, correct. And you do the building of the website. Yep. And, and social media. And social media. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between SEO and social media? Um, is there I mean, a difference? Yes, of course. I mean, SEO is, is I mean, you're trying to get your, your, your keywords and you want to be on the first page of Google where social media is more for branding. You know, you mm -hmm. want to build your brand up. I mean, you can use it, but most likely with SEO, people are already uh, sold them when you're, when you're trying to buy something. If you're already looking up for something on the internet, they're already sold, you know. So use Google. They use Google. Think about it. Whatever you guys are doing a search on the internet, you're already sold because you're already right. looking for that particular product. Right. Whether it be a, a car, a shirt, or whatever it be, you're already sold, you're already sold on it. You just right. want to see what it, who has the best deal. and. So, so what you what you do is you you figure out okay what I'm selling yeah and those people it, that are looking for my services you would redirect to me what mm -hmm. I what right. I tell people is like we're both computer programmers okay yeah. I'm a computer programmer I learned how to hack Google okay so okay. I can make people to get on the first page of Google or I can make stuff go away on Google so okay so one you have mm -hmm. a very interesting story on how you got this whole thing started because yeah. you didn't start out. No, with this intention, no. right? No. So tell us what a did you want to do? Back uh, what, what did you want to? <laughs> well, the only thing is, I like, I always wanted to be in, in computers, right? So I didn't know. I always played video games. I was a, a big gamer, right? So I was like. Uh, you know, to have the best uh, You're graphics. You're not that young to play <laughs> yeah. video yeah. games. My no. first game was Atari. As a back going back okay, to right. twenty six hundred. You know, my father. Uh, uh, and centipede. That's right. One hundred and fifty dollars he spent on uh, TSS. I don't know if you've got most of the TSS, people. TSS. I remember, remember TSS. We went there. Uh, he spent one hundred and fifty dollars for an Atari twenty six hundred. This is go back in the eighties. Times Square stores. So yeah, that's right. Like five hundred bucks now. Uh, yeah, the equivalent of five hundred bucks today. You know, think about that. They're and, expensive. And yeah, for uh, you know an eight bit. I the pong. Yeah, that's right. That's crazy. And, uh, when you had to hook it up to the TV and yeah. And then Time gradually. It was all black and white. Nothing was color. <laughs> gradually, when, when, when I got, I was uh, attracted to the graphics and then from the graphics, I started, uh, uh, you know, investing more in computers and mm -hmm. you have to have more f faster processor. You have to have past faster computer. You the Commodore. Yeah. And then you, <laughs> exactly. Amiga, Amiga. Today, And then you keep going up there and then you can start building. And then eventually we started building our own computers. And I said, you know, our, our hobby became our, I mean, a passion. Who's our? Um, well, us, so us, what's, what's the age difference between the two? Uh, 14, 14, 14 years. 14, 14 years. Wow. Yes. Yeah. 14 years, yes. yes. Wow. 14 years. So, that's, so, that's, so you so were an adult by the time he was correct. really doing yeah. 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 So you were like 46, 47 <laughs> when he was like 6. <laughs> no? You got to love how his math works. Yeah, it's, 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 it's so Norman math. math. So he's just laughing over there. So... Okay, so when did you really start business together? Because we, we didn't. We didn't. That's the whole thing. Well, I started hold on, my hold business. On, yeah. wait, before we get there, mm -hmm. right? A again, you got a very interesting story that yeah. I read. So y your hobby was building computers. Correct. Right. What were you doing for a living before that? Before before hobby, and yeah. I mean, I was just uh, basically I uh, worked at a. I mean. Everything, everything you could imagine. I mean, the delivered uh, stores, pool cleaning. Uh, pool cleaning. I, I was a pool boy. 
I did, uh, uh, you know, I hustled. I, I was right. bar, a bus How'd boy. How'd you do waiter. as a pool boy? Did you do good? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's very good. You, you know, know what I'm talking about? about? No, no, you know, no, 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 what a lot of people go. think of. Just, 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 just want to know how we did. Very respectable guys. Mrs. Robinson. No, no, no. It doesn't look like that. Mrs. Robinson was there. Mrs. Schwartz was there. Mr. Daliano was there. Everybody was there. I fell into many, a couple pools, believe it or not, when you're cleaning them, you know, you fall up. Just like this. We got a little technical difference. There you go. Just like the microphone. It would be much better. Oh, there you go. Let's see. You know, again. there you okay. go. But anyway, it's uh, I fell into the pool, so that's yeah. that was it. And uh, no, but I have all sorts of jobs. I've, I've, I I was a bus boy, a waiter, you know, and uh, I did delivery. I did done all sorts of things. I hustled, you know. I did a lot of sorts. What you had to do? I had to do a lot. How did you finally get into computers? It was just um, again. It was just the, uh, the thing that I didn't know what to do. I took a couple computer courses up in Nassau. Mm -hmm. I went to Nassau Community College, and I just like said, "Okay, that's it. I want to go into computer programming." I, I fell in love with it and uh, wanted to become a video game designer at first. And then I said, uh, "Did you do that?" <laughs> no. Once once you get into computer programming, it gets very complicated, very difficult. You know, and it gets very complex. When you get up there, it's like okay, it's, it's a lot of math. It's a lot of math. Yeah. That's, a lot why of they, that's why these guys make the money. That yeah, they make and you know what? It was it was like you know what? It wasn't for me. I actually hated program at the point. I'm like you know, right. I wanted the basics and stuff. I like just understand the basic, but it got too a little bit too much. But that's that's when I started doing my own you know thing. And like you said before, how I got into it was because of um, I was doing consulting at one time in Boston, and I had lost my wallet. I had drove it, drove from New York to Boston. I, lo I lost my wallet. And you know it sucks when you're away on business. You lose your wallet. Oh yeah. You know what can mm -hmm. you do? How can you cancel your credit card? So, I it took me about like four or six hours. I forget how many hours it did, took me to find the toll free numbers to cancel these credit credit card numbers. And I started a website. Said you know a website called missingwallet.com and, and and I started. Who is it called? Missingwallet.com. Missingwallet.com. Yes, it's not up there no more. So don't right. look for it. The people. Uh, so what was the just, premise of the? Of it, the it's just a case if you lost your wallet, you could go there and check the toll-free numbers of the bank. So if you could uh, put in like the banker's name, for example, you find a cancellation. So I would, of I would go over. create an account, and, yeah, then and I would it, have all my well, different correct. accounts. Correct. It was saved. It was saved. Yes. And yes. This correct. was like what, fifteen years ago? Yeah, fifteen years ago. So this was. Yeah. Google wasn't. It was a. It was novelty idea. You were about what three? <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, it was a novelty idea, and and I just from there I just started the business, you know, from right. so from my a, uh, you know, I always say life gives you, uh, you know, lemonade. I mean, so did you uh, work for somebody to learn yeah. how to do yeah. that, or or no? I mean, you you went to school for it. I mean, I right. learned how to program in a notepad. I mean, this is how you program in notepad. Right. And, and you start uh, doing you know HTML and right. from there you start going. Didn't up you guys play ball or anything when you were kids? Yeah, of course. You know, what did yeah, you, you know, you went ball, like, hey, I was born. I'm yeah. six years old. I'm going to be a programmer. Football. He would play sports. He was yeah, a football. I was lineman. You play football. Yeah, you were Long lineman. Beach. Yeah, Long Beach yeah. High School and and you wrestled, uh, more, right? And more wrestling. Yeah, more wrestling. I wrestled for like five you years. Any championships? Uh, the closest thing I Don't got be was. Bad, uh, <laughs> I, I went to counties twice. That's that's, that's yeah, my so you, thing. You were good. I, I was a heavyweight. I was a two eighty five pounder. All right. You know, even though I was like two forty at the time. Are you still wrestling? wrestling? No, no. I just uh, I I lift. I lift heavyweight. But you wanted to now. be a professional wrestler at some time, right? Yeah. I'm just making that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, maybe. You know, I didn't, I didn't know. Let's see if you don't, don't, don't let him. <laughs> yeah, don't let him say things that you know. Yeah, it's not true. Yeah. But uh, you know, okay, so. You got into programming, yep. and what really made you start your own business was you losing your wallet. Well, yes, that was the that, that was the, the big thing. That then was you the decided I'm going to go out. I'm going to do this on my well, own. Well, yeah, over time it happened overnight because I was always moonlighting. You know, always right. worked had a job, and I always did on the side my do my my moonlight job. And then it came to a point where I lost the uh, consulting gig that I had, and um, and I kind of like realized I said, okay, this is the, the time that I have to do either sink or swim. Right. Like freeze one second. Sure. If you'd like to call and ask the brothers any question at, at all, give us a call at 631-415-1365 and ask to speak to Mauricio or Juan and ask some questions. Do you have some technical yep. questions? These are the guys. If you have websites that you'd like to get built, right? the phone <laughs> lines are now open. Quick, quick, quick right, Google. Google. Yeah, we checked them and they're all good. They're all Excellent. good. They're all doing they're really great. good. Listen to that phone Listen. ring. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so yeah, let's talk to you for a second. Dude. How did you start your business? Oh, man. Uh, well, it was all due to him. Um, I remember one day, uh, well, first of all, I was going to school, uh, you know, I was going for computer science at Queens College. Right. Um, 
So you knew that this, this was something that you yeah, wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, so so similar I story. I mean, I remember yeah. uh, when I was like 13 or 14, I built my first computer with him. Mm -hmm. you know, I remember we bought the parts and Tiger Direct. I don't even know if that exists anymore. <laughs> Tiger Direct, you yeah. Know? Yeah, <laughs> he remembers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I just, uh, I always liked the electronics. I liked video games. I actually, I wanted to do a video game. You know, that's why I went to the school specifically for that. Um, but then you got into it and it just the classes just killed you you know like because I, I actually went higher than, than him you know I went to like more like sophisticated so you, classes so you were doing programming also you were yeah well computer classes? science from a, are you from saying a science. you're smarter than your brother yes oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yes wow. he knows, he knows. there you go <laughs> just wanted, you know, so he got the start and you family got the fights here boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um, I, I remember specifically one day um, I, I took this very high level math class mm -hmm. which you needed to graduate and I completely flunked it like, I think I got, like, a two out of a hundred or something like that. Really, and, that. Yeah, and it was that bad. And I remember I was just sitting on the porch. I'm like, what the what the hell do I do? Like, I, I'm going to be held back for, like, two years at this point. And then, you know, he came here and, you know, he was just he saw me looking down. He was like, why don't you just do what I do? Let's just see what happens. And then one thing led to another. And I started going on Craigslist. I built so, my first so wait, website. Wait, wait. Yeah. So what, what was he doing that, you know, uh, you well, were on Craigslist? Well, he was still. You was, know, that's some nefarious uh, stuff going on. <laughs> not, not that. <laughs> they took that away, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they took that away. But um, did you ever do a website for a cartel? I, I, I wish only, yours. You only yours. Only yours. <laughs> only yours. Only yours. Only yours. Only your cartel. I promise that you'll only yours. Yours. say it. <laughs> but um, yeah, like cartel. one thing led to another. I, I got my first deal. I, I lost money on my first deal. <laughs> oh, we all do. Yeah, and then my, and then my second deal. I made more money than I did uh, working at the grocery store that I was Great. working at. Okay, so you're working you really at the grocery store, right? You're going to school. At, you're yeah. going to school, and then you started getting traction. You started, your, your brother he, was in his own business, mm -hmm. and he said, hey, you know what, why don't you give this a try? Oh, you're yeah. yeah. getting a phone call. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Again, oh, oh, right. I see who's uh, coming in. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome okay. to the Business Pal Hour. Uh, who's calling? Ah, oh, how you doing? Uh, my name is Paul. Paul, Paul George. Oh, oh my God! Good oh, friend oh, of nice Juan Vita. Uh, how are you, my friend? Jimmy, can you turn it up a little? Yeah. So we can. Hey, 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 Paul. Just, just so everybody. Yes, sir. So we're all clear. How are you, my friend? Paul is in my. I'm Latip doing well. How are you? He's in my Latip group, and when they came in, they told me that. Oh, is this Paul that, George? This Paul is Paul George. George. Yeah. Hey, hey, Paul George. Up, yeah. The one and only. The one and only. Hey, what's going on? So, Paul, tell us about your experience with these two gentlemen. Do you, you eat, they eat oh, know man. each other? Is that it? I've known, I've, known, I've known them since I started my business. I started my business uh, about five years ago from celebrating five years of incorporation. I what do you do? I do screen printing. And, uh, you know, I, they, do, they uh, administer to my website. Uh, Mauricio uh, helped me build my website. He's the administrator on my website. And Juan Vitas, I pretty much see him every Wednesday. We try to have that's pizza. Right. <laughs> so so there you go. <laughs> right. Paul, so for, for those who don't know, Paul does embroidering and screen printing, right? Pretty much he'll embroider anything under the sun. Mm -hmm. He actually did the embroidering. I, I just put a new order in for my shirts. I'm not wearing one tonight. Otherwise, I'd show it off, Paul. But, but uh, Paul's also good. doing our t-shirts right. Now, right? Paul is actually going to be buddies? coming on the Business Power Hour. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he's going he's yeah, to be doing t-shirts for us, too. So we're pretty excited yeah, to be yeah. associated yeah. with Paul. Yeah. So, Paul, these guys I are great. Forward to you, man. He's a really quick guy. So the, these Likewise, guys are good yeah, to thank work you. with? So kind of, yeah. <laughs> thank you. We'll pay yeah. you the $20 there, Paul. That's it? Is that all it takes? 20 bucks? Thank you so much. He's a check day. Paul, you're going to be easy. Twenty bucks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're very, they're very good at what they do. Uh, Mauricio is very knowledgeable. You know, uh, he's, I, I, you know, and I'm very finicky myself. So you know, mm -hmm. and, but, uh, he, he, he's very good. You know, and they got a good family. And I've been to you know a couple of the Oceanside events over there with the black parties. And yeah, the black. Parties. What have you? And, and, and they got a, they got good relationships around there. I really want to be around their vibe all the time. So, they, they're so pretty, it, they're it's best. it's really about family for them then. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? It is. It is. Yeah. It is. They, well, it's I, it's I, all about family, yeah. and even in business, it's about That's family. Right. I do have to say, you know, when you're treated like family, they treat you like family. We exactly. belong to a lot of the same networking groups, and we've known each other oh, yeah. for a whole bunch of years. Many years. Yeah. You are probably two of the most liked people in any profession. That people have a, a really pleasure. 
to deal with. No, thank you. And thank that's you. Yeah, that's, no, we try to. You built that. Thank you. That's no, really, thank really you. good. Yeah, we really just, try. We, got, we try to do the best. You know? <laughs> Sometimes yeah, we try we, to do the right thing. That's right. You always try to do the right thing, you know, because yeah. your reputation is oh, everything. We're going to see what kind of right thing you're going to uh -oh, do, because uh -oh, as uh -oh, I told uh -oh. you, uh, we're going to be switching I real love soon. Not on the left. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, hey, Paul. So mm. if we wanted to get in touch with these guys, how would we do that? Sneak. Oh, you these guys are visible, man. They got the telephone number. They got their website. They got that big sign behind you. Um, <laughs> you know, and, 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 and Juan, you know, Juan is very noticeable. He's in, in Nassau County. Yeah, big. You, know, uh, uh, like you see him size. up on billboards. Juan is a very famous person. Well yeah, no, so you're going to have to talk to him about that. But, right, we're going to bring uh, that up in the next He's a spokesman for Ocean Side, as far as I'm concerned. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna bring that up in the next segment, my friend. Uh oh. So we're we're looking forward to that. Paul, I want right. to thank you for thank calling you. in. I'll see you on Wednesday, <laughs> and I look forward to meeting you. All right. Especially thank since you, I sent you. All right, guys. Paul. Be well. Thank right, you. Love you hey, man. Maurice. Thank you, brother. Be good. All right, be good. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Bye bye. bye, -bye now. All right, guys. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you guys, how do they do it? What's your number? What's our number? Yeah. Uh, mine's five one six three zero five seven two zero six. Why don't you repeat that again? Five, slowly. Slowly. Five one six three zero five seven two zero six. And what about you? Juan? Uh, two one two two zero two nineteen fifty two. Again, it's two one two two zero two nineteen fifty two. And you can go to their websites at webdesignu.com and tech and tech ACS yes, at yeah. dot com. Okay, so All right, and we'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. See you soon. It's the card. I didn't put the 212 number yet. <laughs> Small business owner. Are you having trouble yeah, I I the the show. Show. Do you feel like you're always this swimming out of training? Do you feel like daily tension that I can't get ahead and I don't know why? Hi everybody, my name is Darren Sayapi and I'm a business therapist. What's a business therapist? Well, some people call us coaches, some people call us advisors, other people even call us strategists. We take a vested interest in you and your personal development as a person and as a business owner to give you the tools and structure that you need to take it to that next level. So don't wait. Give me a call today for your free consultation and let me show you how you can help yourself. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Friend Entertainment USA. My name is Norman Wasserman. I am also known as the Music Man. Let me just tell you a little bit about Friend Entertainment. We put on concerts for charities, and we do that everywhere from New York to Las Vegas. We do R&B, Motown, rock and roll, jazz, whatever it is that you wish, Friend Entertainment will deliver the best of the best for you and your charity. Here are some of the names of the talent that have performed with us on our stage. Stevie Wonder, Tina Turner, The Temptations, Earth, Wind and Fire, the one and only ELO, Elton John himself, Cool in the Gang, and the fabulous Donna Summer. Go to our website, friendentusa.com. That's www.friendentusa.com. Or feel free to call us at 631-698-9696. 631-698-9696, and we'll see you at the next show. Hi, this is Doug Cormack, Executive Director of Orchard Estate of Woodbury, Woodbury's first assisted living and memory care community. We're opening this summer for seniors who need a little or a lot of assistance with things like taking their medication, meals, or just a maintenance-free lifestyle. Our experienced staff keep seniors and their families connected to what matters most. Call us today to inquire about our model apartments and discover how Orchard Estate of Woodbury is providing the lifestyle Long Island seniors deserve. Call 516-246-2167. That's 516-246-2167. Or visit orchardestatewoodbury.com. Licensure pending. Welcome back to the Business Power Hour. I hear the phone ringing. I hear the phone ringing too. Is it Who still ringing? Again? All right, whoever, whoever was just calling in, please call back. Yeah, yeah please call right back. Call Before, right back. We're going to call you right back to see who it is. <laughs> and the thing is, hey, this is me again. 
This is me again. Who's me? Who's me? Is that Paul? Oh, you hung up again? Okay. All right, so whoever just tried to call him, please call us back. And before you start, we, we, I got a little message here that I'd like to... Your cousin John. No, he's not smarter than me. Uh, he's, uh, he said that he's, he's much not. smarter than no, you No, he's are. not. He's still Is married. that your brother or your cousin? That's my cousin. It's he's, your cousin. He's still married. He's not smarter than me. He's not... Oh, he's still... Okay. <laughs> So, John, he said you two are a stinky liar. Yes. So if you want to uh, answer him back, I'm right here. Right. And I'll be yeah, more than yeah. Happy Norm's to tell watching him. the uh, scroll I'm watching tonight, it. John. So, yeah, no, you're not smarter than me, John. All right, you we got that think settled. So. I have the ball, you don't. Let's just put it that way. Oh. So we'll tell you that story later. That'll come up later. So you guys, you know, as Paul, you know, uh, called in and he said, you guys do a great job with SEO for him. And he also did a great job on his website. And, and I've seen his website. He's got a really cool website. What's the most interesting web design you guys have done? And for what type of company? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've uh, worked. Do you have anyone you can give us a couple of heads? I mean, the, the Nassau Bar. Yeah, the Nassau County Bar Association. Yeah. Okay, Nassau County. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Why, why was that interesting? Well, you got about 4,500 members. Uh, Right. Attorneys. Attorneys. Yeah. Okay. It's an old organization. I think it was founded like 1899. So, uh, a lot of records. And a lot of old records. A lot of old That's records. Of okay, so, so what did you do? You what did you do for them? You, you created a, a data file? Well, yeah, we worked with uh, with their system. It was a little bit more complicated to work with. It was something so simple with their, I mean, they could tie in with a uh, very unique um, uh, legal, legal database. So, that they have okay, so I'm an attorney in Nassau mm -hmm. County. How do mm -hmm. I use that? What, do I go in there and I want to do research and things like that? I can go do that? Well, no, that's How's something that, different. No, I'm just saying because they have a, um, a kind of an antiquated system that they have. It's built in. It's very like kind of proprietary that right. they use. And okay. we had to kind of tie in with the website. Uh, so, so it was like something. A membership system. Yeah, membership yeah, system and events, and they, the events, yeah, and they have calendar. a lot of records and data in there. So it was kind of tough for us to, um, you know, integrate with something that is uh, custom. You know, it's like <laughs> trying to, you know, take an old uh, car that you have and then right. trying to try get a new, it new. Uh, trying to get make it new. Make so it look it, new. Okay, so that's a challenge. Yes, right. Of course, it's like putting on disc brakes on a car yep. that, that came with drum brakes. Yes, mm -hmm. type of thing. How many you people don't do you that. have in your company? Well, we have about twenty consultants. Yeah, How many? Twenty. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I knew you when you had the two of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah we grew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> twenty. We grew quite a bit. Wow. Look at you. Yeah, yeah, we, guys. We guys, it's a lot so of. So is that through all web design and, and SEO work? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a lot of yeah, copywriting. Copywriting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we have a lot of stuff. So. So you guys are doing a lot of different things. Yeah, well, all right. And then we have also some uh, business partners to sell because we. I just launched a new company later. Well, I'll talk about that later. Okay, we'll talk about that yeah. in a second. Okay, so what's the most outrageous? website that you've been involved in developing something I mean, where you sit there and go <clears throat> should i get involved in this or not i mean uh, yeah i mean I that was know. one i mean the I nassau have, county that yeah. had you, you had to give that consideration you were the, the to, to do the so work that, yeah, with it's the bunch of lawyers that's yeah. well yeah this no is. it was always listen <laughs> i remember our, our first attorneys and we work with a lot of lawyers and our, our first attorney i think it was always the scare that you always like it was like you don't know am i doing it. the right thing yeah, am, I doing or, am i gonna get sued it's right always, we just the back the contracts. Contracts. <laughs> yes, I always, you know contracts yes always you know look at the potential of business that you'll have from the other lawyer. I mean, you got, how many did you say, 4,500? 4, well, 4,500 4, members, yes. 4,500 yes. members. And we also and have uh, the, the Women's Suffolk Bar, too. Yes. So you're with know. Shari? Yep. In that Shari. group? Yep. yep. Shari was on here, too, a, mm -hmm. a month or two ago. Right, so we work with a lot of uh, attorneys. We've done, over, between my brother and I, we've done over 100 legal forms already. Okay. We, have, we make a lot of attorneys a lot of money. <laughs> so, yeah. so, okay, so when you, because, how do how do attorneys u utilize their websites to generate revenue? I mean, it's that's I mean, that's they, my question. They use the lead generation, get, don't they? Is it lead generation? Is it? I yeah, mean, you could do that. They through, can't really do anything else. Well, legally. You, could, well you could do that through social media, the lead generation, and right. also um, the best way is getting them on the first page of Google. Um, mm -hmm. Like I'll give an example: we have a divorce lawyer on right. the first page of Queens. Yep. Now, if you type I mean, in Queens divorce lawyer, so that goes. Yeah. That we had somebody on not too long ago where we were talking about that, right? And we were saying that, you know, everybody's saying, oh, I'll get you on the first page of Google. Mm -hmm. You just kind of, well, in Queens, I can get you on the first page. It's not the first page all over the world, no, right? No, you no. kind of pinpoint the, the demographic that you're going after. Well, because it's a specific, now, it's, it's, the, it's all relevancy right now with, with the keywords, if it's, if it's related to whatever you're looking for. Right. Yeah. That's what Google's looking for. Well, that, that person wouldn't want to be on the first page in, I don't know, Tennessee, for example. Right. It wouldn't make sense. So, it wouldn't be so able to help them. So explain to me how you get 
up to the first page? Is oh, it? It's it's in a nutshell because it's a little bit complicated. You right. know, um, it, it's a popularity contest. It's like you know, it's like well, who's the most popular kid in school? You right. Know? It's pretty much with that, and then it's how, how do you get them on the first page? It's uh, the more that you uh, you, um, you you get traffic to that specific site, the, mm. the more it gets ranking. It's how do you get traffic to that website? By having uh, relevant content, Google is all about content, unique, relevant content, and, right. um, uh, and to creating traffic for that site. I had uh, a company named Friend Entertainment LTD, mm -hmm. and I wanted to change it to get some more business. Yeah. So I made it a Friend Entertainment East. Yeah. Big mistake, mm -hmm. huge mistake, because Why? once you change your name, you lose your credibility yeah. on Google, well, and you got to rebuild it. Then I changed it because I wanted more. Na I lost the national business, yes. and I wanted to build national again. And that's when we went to Friend Entertainment USA. But now I got to get well, back to where I was. So think about like when you build a website and you have all these thousands of pages, and then you're starting all over again. And you build another website. It's, so it's like it's, it's like, like it's changing like, your name, and it's like starting start all, all over again. again. Yeah. It's so anytime of, you, you do know, that, you lost all these thousand of pages that you've had in the past. Right. And now you're starting all over again. That's you know, but for Google, it works. The more, the older you are, it's like wine, right? The more right. Older, the better you get. So the with Google, get. the older your content well, is, that the more necessarily relevant. true? Like, I mean. Do you have to keep up with putting content out yeah. to stay? I relevant? mean, yes, Google prefers that. But if right. I mean, if, if but if you're a, a resource that people go to the website over and over to see, you know, like so a, is that that's part of it. Yeah, How yeah. many people actually Correct. go to your website? Right. Yeah. Come on, think about it. I mean, when you Google your name, the first thing you see is LinkedIn, right? Facebook, right. and why? Because those are very high traffic and authoritative websites. Right, they get a lot of traffic. Right, and they're and they're looking at me, mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. looking at him, and Correct. and like you guys, Correct. and things like so that. So they always rank higher because they get a lot of traffic. So think about we're trying to replicate that for your website now. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Trying gotcha. to get the same same traffic that you get. Well, how your website. do you do that? Well, the same I mean, thing. Promote your website. Promote your website everywhere. Click here. Buy now. All these things that you would normally do to calls come, to action. Calls to actions. Right. Like when you're in the, uh, you know, in the stores out there, you know, get people to get get them in. Right. That's, but we do it through the internet. We do it through algorithms. We do it through our own, uh, st you know, s develop algorithm through all the years that so we know how to do it. I tell you, learn how to hack Google. Right. I can, I can pretty much hack it. I can. So you, be, so you basically know how Google works. Oh yes, yes. Been doing, yeah, been doing it for sixteen so years. Sixteen years. I know what the secret sauce is. I know what right. Google looks for. Right. And it's constantly changing. Google's constantly changing the algorithm. Why? Why? Why do they do that? So because it's 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 about uh, better search quality. Yeah, it's all about quality. We'll, we'll, we'll think uh, about we'll, searching ten years ago. Yeah. Right. Remember, you used to have to go past like the second, third, fourth page. The spam. Now, now get something do you ever? Do you ever go past the first page anymore? No. Really? Oh, yeah. Unless you're really, really looking for something. Like, right. That's the only really And it's quality. They want good quality. That's mm -hmm. what Google's looking for. Right. Think about Google as the uh, a uh, agencies of the magazines in the 50s. You know, okay. everything was good about these agencies in the 50s was because of the quality of these magazines. So that's what Google's doing. Is It's, it's yeah. looking at, well, your your website's garbage, so we're not going to yeah, push correct. people towards so it. So have they, they done anything with the feeds? Or they charge you? Each time that you click, is there a click charge? Well, that's a separate business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're talking about the organic searches yeah, because that, we're not taking, uh, talking paper about paper click. click. Yeah, those are you get so to pay Google. So what's better? Is organic search better? The than both, both because you I have mean, to do both. Then well, I guess. Well, if you have the budget for it, you know. But then again, it's one is organic and the other one is paid. You know, but the other one is pay. You you set a budget, you lose your money. It's so, like, so, so basically, like, those when you when you search Google. And you go, this is a paid advertisement. They'll come up first. Yeah, it says ad. It says right, because I always, what I always do is... Yeah, you skim the... Yeah, I it says, skim yeah, down yeah. through them to where it really starts. Because that, to me, that's what it originally mm -hmm. is. Phone call. Phone call. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the Business Power Hour. Who's calling? They're not there. They're not there? Uh -uh. We got ghosted. No, we, we got, got ghosted, ghosted huh? <laughs> All right, so it's we have Halloween. to fix that on the has system. There, has there ever been a time that somebody came to you and said, hey, I want you to build my website, and you looked at it and said, no, yeah, it's not for it's us. Up, yeah, uh, We so call this the pipe, the the pipe, pipe dreams. dreams, the yeah, pipe like dreams I, I want a Facebook. I want a you you know, know, match.com or something like that. It's just they like, want a Facebook or they want we, a match.com. We, we, we can build it. But it's we can do it. We don't want to take your money. Yeah. It's yeah, because you're not going to compete with something well, well, like that. Well, think right? about it. You're going to have to spend at least ten, twenty thousand 20000 on the website. 
plus the, the marketing. Like okay, so is there any any time morally somebody came to you with something, and you just knew these weren't good people, oh, and, so they so wanted, so and they wanted and they wanted you to build something, so, uh, yeah. and you knew that it was a scam. Well, not so somebody came to me for an adult site. <laughs> an adult so, site, okay. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, uh, we know. don't do that. You know, yeah, was right, it a yeah, straight adult site? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you give them need to know the specifics because I was going to give them your phone number. <laughs> 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 I wanted to make sure that everything was okay. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Business Power Hour. Who's calling? Um, oh, my assistant. Hello. From Global Tax and Accounting. Hi, can you hear me? Hi, can you hear me? Now we can. Now. <laughs> oh, my name is Fishman from Global Tax and Accounting Services. Oh, hey. hey, hey. How are you? How's it going? How are you? I just. <laughs> good. Um, and I, I guess I'm here to uh, give out a testimonial. Okay. To, to me or so, to one or Mauricio? Mauricio. <laughs> Mauricio. Okay. So tell tell us what has Mauricio done for you? Oh, Mauricio has set up my website. He's done a wonderful job. Um, he's intensive uh, with changes. He's great. Um, so you know it, it's been very helpful. And what's nice about it, he knows both language, so he does the Spanish side of it. So he's really um, helped me out in many ways. So the so website is great. So your company is is bilingual, mm -hmm. and you can actually help out with Probably. both languages. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, right. I didn't hear your question. I said so. I was talking to Mauricio, and I was just saying that because of his background, he speaks fluent Spanish. Correct? Mm, yeah, we both do. Right? Yeah. And, and yeah. that helps out because now you can create these websites in both languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's big. And that's that's big and because if we all know, right? If mm -hmm. you speak broken Spanish or high school it's Spanish. definitely a hit. <laughs> and, and his girlfriend is Mandarin. Too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Chinese, so, Chinese, so Chinese connection. Chinese, yeah. connection. Chinese yeah. connection. So you can do it multiple languages. Multiple you languages, yeah. Yep. Yep. That's fantastic. Isn't there so, a button that when you set up it's these... It's definitely an asset. Pick your language? Yeah. Seriously, isn't there that... But we do uh, it, it, the real Spanish. Yeah, but the for Chinese, the SEO... Yeah. Street Spanish. For the SEO, you're always looking for quality. Remember what I said with the SEO, for search? Right. They're always looking for quality. So when when you do something that's automated like that, it's not quality. Yeah. So you're de, -ra de ranking or devaluing. Got it. Right. So you always Sometimes want to have more authentic. Right yeah. Too. So how long you been working with these guys? How long have I been working yeah, with Mauricio? Yeah. Yeah. I've known Mauricio now for I I don't know I think I lost track uh, at least five years. Yeah, five years. Okay. Five years. So you've been wow. with them for a while. You're still with. Is this your girlfriend? You know, I'm not <laughs> We'll give you um, twenty dollars later. But yeah, <laughs> you gave the other one twenty dollars. Really. Got to give him more. Yeah, <laughs> we'll give you. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> much for more. calling. That I was very, very nice of you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All, All right. Thanks so much. I still have some taxes to do, so I gotta let go. But he's been a tremendous asset to my growth, and it's great. Keep up the good work. All By right. the way, if you have Mauricio, give us the name of your charity. We will give it consideration to put it on our Give Back Wednesdays for 2020. Right. And that's a little Give Back oh, for Mauricio. You. So you didn't even know that. Right. So because Mauricio will want to hear, we can give you a, a, a Give Back, and you can come on and tell the world about your charity. How's that? Sounds good. Okay. Don't get too All excited. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she's not a charity. She's an accounting firm. Oh, I thought she was a charity. No, you got it all wrong. I You're did. always thinking charities. I'm all. I'm got to find help. Yes, but I, you know, <laughs> we can all go we, I forget I what I said. I got, forget no. what he said. But, no. <laughs> now we appreciate you calling in, and, and thank you for calling in. And thank giving you very the, much. Giving the boys a good, uh, a good uh, plug here, and uh, you know, you have a great night, and good luck with. I know tomorrow's a filing deadline for you, so it's a deadline. So, so I'm doing a midnight shift. So I'm gonna let you guys go. There but go. it's been a pleasure working with Mauricio. Thank you all. All right. Have Thank a good you very night. much. For Thanks calling. for calling in. No problem. So you guys what some fans out there. Oh, Mida. Mida. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mida? So Mida. Yes. Thank you, Mida. I didn't you. catch your name when you first called. in. Neither did I. Issues with that. With that. What's the name of her firm? Uh, Mida. Global Global Tax Accounting. Sorry. Global <coughs> Tax Accounting. Global Tax Accounting. Okay. We'll give her a little plug. Little yeah. plug. Yeah. yeah she's like the best accountant. Yeah. All right. Cool. She's CPA. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, she's over, uh, yeah, she's by here by Melville. All right. Mm -hmm. so and she's, and she's bilingual, too.
and she's bilingual, so mm -hmm. she, she really taps into Spanish more. Yeah. Days. So that's good. Being bilingual is a big, huge plus. I had somebody ask me the other day, I do business coaching and that, and one of my clients, he owns a pizzeria, and he's, believe it or not, most of his employees are Spanish speaking. Mm. So he's like, we're helping them revamp yeah. everything that they're doing, and he's like, do you speak Spanish? And I'm like, no, I know hola. And I know a couple other things, but you know, I, I really don't. You know, when when you're in business and you look at it, we're more becoming of a global market. Mm -hmm. So the more you become uh, with uh, different cultures and f you know, it, and yeah, it, it's important. work for business. It's work for business, absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely very important. So that's a, a strength that you guys have. Oh yeah, absolutely. That yeah. a lot of firms don't have. Yeah, you run into that a lot where you're getting a lot of business because other people can't do bilingual oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah, especially, with, stuff. especially with the attorneys, the, the you know, yeah. the personal, personal injury attorneys. Personal injuries. Yeah, yeah, they always want a, a Spanish site, so yeah. that's, that's where you just package along with it. You know right. Stu Kitchener? But mm -hmm. he's a uh, injury attorney. He's, he'll be on the show in another month or so. Oh, okay. still I know, there's only a few injury attorneys. Yeah, there's only a few. <laughs> 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 well, don't forget, forget. So oh, yeah. 4,500 in Nassau County. Just in Nassau County. This was a lead in to get yeah. you some new business. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Be cute. You know? So, guys, if, they, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, how do you do that? Google us. Google. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Let's Google you. So, go ahead, Maurice. Yeah, it's 516 305. 7206, again, 516-305-7206. And how about you, Juan? Uh, it's 212-202-1952. Again, it's 212-202-1952. And we, you can also go to their websites, webdesignu.com and techacs.com. Right. When we come back, we're going to talk about the new business that Juan just started. Yep. Okay, and also about some of the charities that they're involved in. Mm -hmm. And yes. organizations. And organizations. So we'll be right. right back, right after these messages. Hi, this is Doug Cormack, Executive Director of Orchard Estate of Woodbury, Woodbury's first assisted living and memory care community. We're opening this summer for seniors who need a little or a lot of assistance with things like taking their medication, meals, or just a maintenance-free lifestyle. Our experienced staff keep seniors and their families connected to what matters most. Call us today to inquire about our model apartments and discover how Orchard Estate of Woodbury is providing the lifestyle Long Island seniors deserve. Call 516-246-2167. That's 516-246-2167. Or visit orchardestatewoodbury.com. Licensure pending. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Friend Entertainment USA. My name is Norman Wasserman. I am also known as the Music Man. Let me just tell you a little bit about Friend Entertainment. We put on concerts for charities, and we do that everywhere from New York to Las Vegas. We do R&B, Motown, rock and roll, jazz, whatever it is that you wish, Friend Entertainment will deliver the best of the best for you and your charity. Here are some of the names of the talent that have performed with us on our stage. Stevie Wonder, Tina Turner, The Temptations, Earth, Wind & Fire, the one and only ELO, Elton John himself, Cool and the Gang, and the fabulous Donna Summer. Go to our website friendentusa.com that's www.friendentusa.com or feel free to call us at 631-698-9696 631-698-9696 and we'll see you at the next show Small business owners, are you having trouble growing your business? Do you feel like you're always swimming upstream? Do you feel that daily tension that I can't get ahead and I don't know why? Hi everybody, my name is Darren Sayafi and I'm a business therapist. What's a business therapist? Well, some people call us coaches, some people call us advisors, other people even call us strategists. We take a vested interest in you and your personal development as a person and as a business owner to give you the tools and structure that you need to take it to that next level. So don't wait. Give me a call today for your free consultation 
and let me show you how you can help yourself. Welcome back to the Business Power Hour with Darren and the Music Man. I'm talking now because he missed the cue. Uh, <laughs> You're talking because you never shut up. So we're back. We're back with our friends Juan and Mauricio. Pow! Yeah, I got it. I just let it go. Go ahead. This is my back, man. <laughs> so Juan, you were talking about before that you started a new business. That's you got right. into a new venture. Why don't That's you tell right. us a little sure. bit about that? Um, so uh, in the last ten years, I've been doing it on the side. Again, it was always on the side. You know, it's a, f a reputation management, the online reputation management. Okay. And we started a company called FameRep.com. Um, Fame Web. Rep. No, Fame Rep, like reputation. Fame okay. Rep. Rep. Uh, R E P. Wait a minute. I know somebody that used you. Yes, we yes we yes and we have somebody. Yeah, no, the no, 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 we don't. <laughs> but we don't. yes, yes, we know who we are. Uh, so yes, we have a uh, reputation of pe fixing people's reputation on the internet. So um, we work with uh, political people, we work with celebrities, we work with a lot of attorneys, and we've been doing this for the last ten years. Uh, made my business associate. So we one day said, you know what, we've been doing this for ten years. It's time for us to start our own company. So Fame Rep is started by uh, Chris Abrams and. Dan Kruger, um, with the, with these gentlemen, I've been working for the last ten years together. Okay, and their what business do they associates. do before you, they started uh, this business? Uh, Chris has had a brand specialist. He does SEO, and and uh, Dan, he he does marketing for a, uh, I think it was a, a camp, a day camp, or something like that. A, okay. a sports fitness guy. Uh, but all of us, we did marketing, and we all kind of come work together. And now we're just joining forces at this new venture that we started called FameRep.com. So, so how do you? What do you? What do you do in this company? You build their reputation? Or? No, no, we fix people's reputation. If like, if you, if, if they some, have a problem, they have a problem. Yes, we've had clients. Uh, I had one client that uh, got sued by the SEC for three hundred fifty thousand dollars. You know, right. if you Google his name. You got sued by the SEC. You want to do want to do business with a person like that, right. you know? So how do you get stuff off the internet? Uh, you you bury it basically. You can never get rid of it. You can always just suppress it. Well, just I had, by I had a similar situation. It wasn't I got arrested or anything like that? But there's somebody with my name, exactly to the day, six months younger than me, mm -hmm. that for most of his life's been in and out of prison in New York State. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And back in the early 2000s, I was working with a lot of small public companies. Right. And my name was out because of that. See, yeah, it's all coming out now, right, Jim? Mm -hmm. But it was what was funny was this guy was incarcerated at that time, and I was out working with these public companies, and these people are trying to say that I was this guy. And I'm like, if I'm out in a bout, how can I be him when he's right, actually exactly. incarcerated? Yep. So I had that problem because yeah, that the, kept popping up. Wow, yeah. And whenever I got new clients, immediately when they, 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 they would back, take yes, they would take the name they, wasn't spelled. My, was, the first name was spelled a little bit different than mine, but the last name was the same. The middle initial so you, was the so same. You're not the serial killer. I'm not, not the, the serial, serial killer. killer no. and, <laughs> and the birth date was exactly six months wow. after mine. Yeah. And this guy kept popping you know, up from. All see, that, yeah. that affects business. Yeah, that affects affects business. business. And it did. And I, have, I always had to prove. And I actually, because he I, lived in Suffolk County, it was actually a friend of mine worked in Sheriff's Office. I actually got a copy of his picture and his record. So it was like, look, this is the guy. Mm -hmm. and, and don't forget, we work with a lot of attorneys, as we mentioned before, and we happen to work with a lot of um, criminal attorneys. And that a lot of their clients I have white but crime. how long does yeah. it take on an average? Is it years y to bury It this? depends on how severe it is. It could go, it, we normally up to a year, yeah, a year campaign. Just a year? A year. I thought it would be, yeah. you know, longer. Well, it depends if, if it's, you know, yes. Yeah, so usually about two years. Now, is one way to bury it, just keep putting more stuff about Correct. More, about more the positive, person, yes. More positive, more positive, things more positive stuff, yep. So the more relevant or more or the newer stuff comes out, it kind of buries the older stuff. Yeah. Yes, but drive traffic to the website. Remember, we're right. driving, creating traffic, creating a buzz for these web websites that we built. And, you know. What, what, what's your tagline for it? Oh, the, the best place that where, where is the best place to hide a dead body is uh, on the second page of Google. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It is true. Yeah. It really is. I like that. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's really good. So, Juan, if somebody wants to come and see you, you say you you do speaking engagements. All oh the time. yes, yeah, thank so you, thank you for reminding me. Yes, yeah, so we are. Uh, next month, I'm going to be at NYIT. I, it's really interesting. That's when New I, York Institute of Technology. Technology right? Yes. Uh, very interesting because uh, when I put this out on LinkedIn, on social media, that I had my new company, a, uh, a crisis manager professor 
from my MIT had reached out to me and said, oh, we'd love to have you come to speak to our students at, at, at a college. I said, I'd love to, you know, it's right. because then I could talk to them about the juicy stories that I've had with, you know, people I have the CEOs that got sued and all this. Mm -hmm. So it's like all the juicy stories. I can't go into much detail, but, you right. know, they could go. Juicy it, stories. Juicy says stories tell, you, can give, you can give them the outline of what Absolutely, happened. Absolutely. Like yeah. That, but we've done names, tactics stuff and stuff that we've done. I mean, I've been doing this for the last 10 years. Don't forget. I mean, I've been doing technology for 16 years, but right. 10 years of reputation management. And my first client was a guy, for, uh, is a Wall Street executive 10 years right. ago. Okay. My first client. Yeah. First and client. did a yeah. famous musician. Well, too. yeah. We, we can't know, say we can't it. Say, but, nah, nah, yeah, listen, but I don't want any liability. Right, but, 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 but that kind of saxophone does he play? <laughs> oh, he's not. He's a guitarist. Yeah, yeah. We're, oh, we're, we're, we're not. It, he's trying to tell you after the show. Yeah, <laughs> we, we we have a couple of uh, NDAs that we can't say, so we'd rather not talk about. Well, it yeah, we don't want that. you yeah. to divulge yeah, any yeah, of that. Yeah, we'd not, yeah. But you know, it sounds like you're yeah. doing a great job. Thank you. You've been thank doing you, it ten yeah. years. Look, anytime you're doing anything more than five years, right. and you're surviving, then mm -hmm. you're doing the right things. That's right. Because ninety percent of companies don't make it five. That's yeah. a really interesting you know. topic to talk about too, because there's got to be a tremendous amount of people that could use that service. Oh yes, but we you, do. Have you look them. at the culture of the internet; everyone's yeah. getting canceled, right? Oh, so, so yeah. it's well, getting more and more. Too, and what people don't realize is some of these things that they post on social media—they're destroying their reputations. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then it's like, oh God, I got to get rid of that. I got to go hide it. I got to, you know, I'll delete it off my Facebook page, but it never goes anywhere. Right. You yeah. know, it's it's always there. Like you said, it's always out there. So it's always got to guard your reputation. Like Warren Buffett says, you know, it takes about 25 years to build your reputation, only five minutes to destroy Maybe it. Maybe five right. minutes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. So you got to guard your reputation. <laughs> One push of the button, yeah. and and you know, on the internet, and boom. How much is your reputation worth? Right, exactly. You know? Exactly. So Mauricio, you working with uh, some charities, right? Oh uh, yeah, you got yeah, some definitely. things going on with that. Yeah, so yeah. Tell us I'm, a little bit about that. I'm working with um, the Scott Beagle Memorial Fund. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, with uh, Michael Shulman and the Beagle. Yep. Okay. Um, it, uh, basically, uh, unfortunately, their son uh, was killed in the, the Parkland, Parkland shooting. Right. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I was remember Parkland. reading about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was a horrible you know, charity. So he was a hero in that. Yeah, yeah, he, he saved, saved a lot of lives. He saved, he saved a whole bunch of lives. Right. He saved this yeah. class. Pretty he yeah. could have been out the door, but he decided to stay. So yeah. how did someone in Florida, we understand it's the internet, but how did someone in Florida really get a hold of you? Was it the internet or was it a personal recommendation? Uh, we were already working work with, with them. The client. And then we... we okay, we, so we, they, would have, they had we, another we have business project. Right, to yeah. and then we right. just rose up to the occasion and just helped yeah, them out. Helped them out. We did the website and we you know helped with the fund. As a matter of fact, we're going to get them on the line now, right, Jim? Good we're going to talk. We're going to talk to them about it. Mm -hmm. You know, get a little bit more. What's, what's going on with name? their charity? Uh, Michael. 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 How are Hi, you? how you doing? Good, hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. It's hey, Juan. Mike. It's so, Mauricio. Michael, we're hey, sitting with Juan and Mauricio, and they're telling us all the great work that you're doing for your charity. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your charity and, and what's going on? Well, my son was a geography teacher and cross-country coach who was uh, killed in Parkland, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, he saved 31 of his uh, students. Um, he went against protocol. He opened the door to let in the kids. Uh, of course, it was also locked in lockdown, and right. he uh, he got them, he got them in, and it's an amazing thing. And he died doing it. And we have a run for Beagle this coming weekend, where he will be running. We have a fundraiser to help send kids to camp. And All that's right, so that's going to be our, our that's going to be this weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. All right, so yeah. where this weekend at Hexer State Park? Hexer State Park. We have what, what time and how can how can, how can people get in touch with you to get involved? Uh, they can go right to the website, uh, the Scott J. Beagle Memorial Fund, um, or they can go to uh, Elite Feats, which is the people who are running it, Scott J. And Scott J. Beagle, B-E-I-G-E-L. Um, we have about 350 runners uh, so far running, and we have 42 sponsors, including some big sponsors like Coca-Cola and RxR. Nice. And um, you know, we're hoping to raise, we send underprivileged kid, children touched by gun violence to summer camp. That's our job. Oh, that's fantastic. And how, how many kids yeah, have you guys ha helped so far with your program? 
The last year, we sent 54 kids to summer camp. Fantastic. Um, all underprivileged children, all from uh, either some of them from homeless shelters, some of them from single family homes. Uh, we went to sent them to three camps. One was Camp Junior, which is in Harriman, New York, and one was Camp Fiverr, which was in um, Hamilton, and one the other one was Camp Wilbur Herlick, which was in uh, Patterson, New York. Michael, and how, see, how, do you, how do you find the kids that you send to camp? We work, work with uh, two organizations. One is the Fresh Air Fund, and the other is a com an organization called Scope which is also a nonprofit, and they help us um, decide which children should go because they have so many applications to be, for kids to go to camp. Um, my wife, Wendy, and I vis actually visited all three camps over the summer, and it was heart-wrenching and, and to have one child come up to us and say, can you send me back here next year? Um, another child in a, in a little bus, eight-year-old child said, um, and my wife said, you, you're so beautiful. Has anyone ever told you that before? And she said, no. Um, yeah. These are all kids who've never seen a lake, never seen a horse. Really? Wow. And uh, the smile on their face was absolutely contagious. And their laughter was contagious. Uh, just watching and listening to it. It was, it was truly unbelievable. So we, uh, we, we, we're we looking forward. We sent 54. Our goal next year in 2020 is to send the same 54 kids back again to reinforce the, um, what they learned this past summer, an additional 54. And each year send 54 kids. It costs about $2,500 a child. So that's why we're having the fundraiser this, um, this Sunday. And hopefully we'll raise enough money to send more kids back to camp. Well, that's fantastic that you do that. I know your, your son's probably very proud of you and, and what you know, you've done. He, he was a wonderful kid. He, he spent two, week, two months in South Africa uh, volunteering hearing uh he uh, was a course country coach and his kids just loved him they have they've had three runs now in parkman florida uh, in his honor and uh when they had the first one five days after the funeral there were simultaneous runs in south korea australia canada england south africa wow. italy oh, wow. and ireland well you certainly did some good parenting i have to tell you that you know he was a good kid he was a really great kid, but you know, you know, it, it, when people step out to help, mm -hmm. you know, Mauricio and Juan were there for us. I mean, right after the shooting, yeah. they volunteered their services to help us get set up web page and fundraising immediately. No questions asked, no how much is it going to cost or anything else. And you talk about a character, that's real character. That, that, okay, that people who step up, who step up to help. Yeah. when people need it. That's right. Thank um, you, Michael. That's Love what you. they did. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah, and their the services are yeah. so professional. And well, we wish you a lot of good luck. Yeah, Michael. And we yeah. thank you very much for speaking with us this evening. And there's anything My that uh, Darren or I could do to help you, it would be our pleasure. Yeah, we would, Michael, we would love well, to have Anything you. you do to promote the run this weekend would be phenomenal. Okay. And Michael will be there. Yeah, we'll be we'll there, be Michael. There. Love and you. Michael, just reach out to Juan Mauricio. Make sure we get your contact information. And, and we'll love, put you on the show. We'd love to have you on the show. Thank you. That would right. be great. Right. Help you out your thank you. Thanks, Michael. Right, thank Michael. you, Michael. We night. love you, Michael. Good night. Thank you. Okay. So, I mean, you guys are doing some great stuff. Yeah, we do, man. Yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all from the heart, man. Yeah. From the heart. Oh, it's yeah. always been from your heart. Yeah, that's absolutely. That's what makes you two guys so really special, and that's why everybody and loves you. Yeah. Can I show you my jacket now? Yeah, if you sure. Okay, <laughs> well, real quick. It looks like a strip show. The strip show, yes. <laughs> yes. This is your custom-made job, right? Yeah, the custom one. Yeah, the one that was all over the internet. Oh, look at that. Oh, so, wait. So, back up oh, so yeah, the camera up, can see yeah. it. Uh, so, there we go. There you go. So you always have your kids with you, huh? That's right. And it, as I say, it's uh, Giorgenti is the one who makes the... Giorgenti, uh, yeah. Janine, Janine, right? Giorgenti, Janine, yeah. Giorgenti, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Giorgenti is the brand. Well, she plus does, for her, because she, she takes she care of us. She does some good stuff. Yeah. And you know, we, we started with her. She's been one of our long-time clients that we've had, right. where, you know, yeah. for weeks, you know. Six years. Six years, yeah. more than love that. Exactly. Good stuff. Thank so you. we want to thank you guys thank for you being guys. on the show. And we'll have right. to get There's to the rest fun. of the stuff next time. Yeah, really. There's a, a lot of stuff. There's more stuff. stuff. Yeah, Part two. Absolutely. Part two. <laughs> time just flies by. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I told you it would just disappear. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And maybe next time you'll be here on time. And wow. He he came in right before you guys did. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> right before you, literally. He stole right our exactly. parking spot. Yeah. <laughs> he was the guy that stole our parking spot. You mean that red Mercedes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's his. 
All That's right. the bosses. All yeah. right, guys. So thanks for being on. We really appreciate yeah. it. So yeah. we're, got, we're, we're short on time, man. We're running long Yeah, today, so, so uh, what, what do you got going on? Just you got something special? You got special things coming closer, right? No, I got... I just want to do a couple of quick shout outs. Uh, Joelle Stevenson, who I actually went to college with, she's watching tonight. Uh, Joseph Ponte said, That's hey, Juan. Juan. Okay. Yeah, he's there for All you. Right. So, and, and everybody else, Joe Michelle Ponte. was watching tonight, Paul George. I want to thank everybody for watching the show and, and helping to support us. We really appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, we really, really thank you because we did some numbers mm -hmm. uh, over this past year that we, we are up. Over two hundred percent in the following, not a hundred percent, but two hundred percent in our following, and we thank you very, very much for that. Because without you, it, it doesn't happen. And we're going to be sending out a letter soon to uh, really anybody who would like to be on the show and present your business and/or your charity, and also to all of you that have been on the show before. We want to give you first crack in, in coming back and, and being on the show. So we thank you. Anything special? Nothing special. We're up? going to be on Wednesday night, 8 o'clock, right Wednesday here night on the Village eight Connection eight Network. And we're going to be, can we mention where we're going to be in the afternoon? Yeah, go okay. ahead. Orchard Estates at 900 Woodbury Road, a brand new assisted living facility that's going to be opening up. Come on down. The well, no, it's not come on down. It's invitation only. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, come, the, the abusing man and, and Darren invited him, so it's cool. <laughs> Yeah, get us so, thrown out. <laughs> yes. We got to eat first. We gotta then eat we can first. get thrown out. But All thank right. you very much. We'll see you Wednesday night, 8 o'clock. And thanks for tuning in. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night.